guys. Um, so this is episode 20 of the Inspire podcast. I am Kamiko and I am your host. <laughs> um, and thank you for coming and spending a few minutes with me. So <laughs> the thing about this podcast is this is the third time I have recorded it. Um, my house is a mess. I, it's just a mess over here. Like you can see my decorating. Yeah, that's cool. My hair is not done. Um, I wasn't really prepared for this, but <laughs> I'm actually getting really, really irritated because I've recorded this episode twice already on two different things on two different cameras and it hasn't worked. And I'm <laughs> just, I'm getting really irritated with it. So I figured I would kind of do an impromptu podcast for you and hopefully it won't be too long because I'm really not set up for it today, but I figured whatever, I'm just going to record and I am just going to share some stuff with you that I've been working on. I'm not going to worry about all the other stuff. So basically when it comes down to it, um, I just started the flax light sweater by Tin Can Knits for my four year old daughter and she picked out this yellow yarn cause she wanted yellow yarn and the yellow is by Leo and Roxy and it's in the pollen colorway. Um, personally, I didn't really want it, not because of the color, not because of the dye, but because it was a single ply and it actually seems to be working just fine. I like it. Um, let's see, let me show it to you. And the, so, okay, first of all, there's, there it is started. I actually started it two nights ago, I think. Or actually like three nights ago but last night I got a lot of knitting done on it and then today and yeah today I've gotten even more knitting done on it so it's coming along really fast the contrasting color is my hand dyed yarn doesn't have a name but yeah it's just this really it's got some pinks and purples and some gray in it and yeah I'm loving it. It's super cute and it's really soft. Like she's going to really like it. She already loves the, um, she already loves seeing it being knit up. She's very knit worthy and I'm just, I'm laughing because it's, it's just, Hey, you know, this is life. It's a, it looks like a mess back there. My laundry basket's like tilted. Yeah. So, and if I keep looking toward the door, I'm expecting a delivery. So I'm sorry for not being completely undivided toward you. So that is one thing I'm working on right now. Um, I have a, I, uh, yeah, I have a few socks that I have been working on. If you've watched my vlog or my podcast, I have, wow, I, or follow me on Instagram. I have a, a collection or a series of socks that I'm working on and it's called the Sweet Child of Mine series and there's four patterns in it um, and they're all named for my daughters. So I already have the Tatey Lady ones and the Stella Bella Honey ones. Um, they, they have already been tested. They're ready to go. The Porsche Poppy ones are being tested next week if you're interested in in test knitting. These are the Porsche Poppy. I'm still looking for test knitters. Um, I have some but I'm still looking for a couple more and these are, oh, they're so cute. I will go into detail on all of the socks in a later episode, but I just want to show you these real quick because if you're interested, um, I would love to have you sock test, test a sock pattern for me. Um, and these are actually knit in the, by uh, the yarn is by Lolo did it in the poly juice potion colorway. Um, I'm so disconnected. I'm really sorry for this today, but I have a few minutes and I can, I, I can do this right now. So I also am working on these mittens. Sorry, off camera. These are by Drunk Girl Designs and the pattern is, how cold is it? And I don't remember the yarn, but I recently bought it this uh, near the end of the summer. It's a green and a I'll show you this side. A green and a yellow. <laughs> wow. A green and a purple. And it's in color work. And if you know these, if you know this pattern, how cold is it? You'll know why I'm doing this. So 
I'm almost done. I'm in the decreases and I'm um, really happy with the way they're coming out. I still need to knit the, knit the second one and it's kind of, kind of a pain. No, no, it's not a pain. It's just a little bit more involved than I prefer. It uses a little bit more brain power. It's not hard at all, but I usually just, you know, you want to just knit in the round and not really think about what you're knitting. And this, you know, you have to follow the color chart, which is totally fine. They're not hard at all. It's totally easy. Totally. <laughs> um, but it's just kind of a little bit more for me to think about. Then something else happened in the last couple of weeks. Something I said I wouldn't do, but I did it, and I love it, and I will continue to do it. And it is, I've, I've lost stitches because it's crochet. And I also lost my crochet hook. It's somewhere in the nether of my bag. But this is what I've been working on. This is the granny stripe blanket, as you know. I love it. It looks really huge and it fits quite like straight across a queen size bed, but it's not a queen size. So it's more like a, probably like a twin size. But I cast on the correct number of stitches. So I don't know what that was. And I don't even know my gauge in crochet. I'm not the best crocheter. The edges are a little wonky, but I cannot even tell you how much I love this. It's so eclectic I guess you would call it I love it 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 just I love it so much and you know how everybody has their cozy memory blanket I'm not going to do that I know I say that now I, I'm not really interested in doing that at all this to me is a cozy memory blanket um, because the yarns in it are they just they tell a story for me there are yarns that I've used for different things and they just make me so happy looking at it and these yarns so these three rows, if you can see, there's three different, they're the brighter with the white, the yarns with the white are white background and like colors, like speckles on it and stuff. But those are three different skeins, mini skeins. And those are yarns that I dyed. And I was very, very happy with the way they came out. I'm very happy. I think they came out really awesome. But yes, I love this blanket, and this is my second magic ball that I made for it. It really, crochet really uses up a lot of yarn, um, as you know. But I, it, doing the magic ball is fun. And then you get this big ball of yarn to work from, and it's kind of a mindless knit. Like I said, I'm not the best, I mean, it's a mindless project. I'm not the best crocheter, so my gauge is a little bit off sometimes, but... It's okay. It's, it's, um, you know, it's one of those things I'll be able to look back on. Another thing I've been working on is the jelly roll socks. And I took some extra sock yarn from my Tidy Lady socks and from my Stella Bella Honey socks. And I made the jelly roll socks. And I don't have a sock blocker with me. And I'm not going to get up to go get it. Um, but this is the way they look. It looks a little weird because it's a little tighter in the middle, but on a sock blocker or on the foot, it looks great. And then the second one is just opposite. So the orange is on the outside and the blue is on the inside. And they do take a little bit, they also do take a little bit more brain power because there's this slip stitch color work happening right there, but it's not like crate, it's not hard at all. It just takes a little bit more. I like to keep track of it with tally marks on a, um, on a sticky note, so I just have to look, concentrate a little bit more. So I'm not necessarily like always wanting to take this one out because I have to take the, the notes out too with it. And I'm connected to something down here. Okay, there we go. So yeah, those are cool. And um, the Jelly Roll socks, they're just short socks, so they actually knit up really fast. And I actually did start just a regular plain pair of socks. I don't have them with me that are short socks. Also, I always knit calf, like mid calf high socks. And I decided to do some short ones. And those short socks are great because they knit up so fast. It's really fun. And you know, I kind of like them. I wear short socks anyway. I never wear high socks unless over, unless I'm wearing them over leggings. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I showed you all that. And then I talked a little bit about my dyeing and if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen what I've been working on and you know, just having a little bit of fun, kind of answering the mysteries of the whole dyeing thing because I don't get it. It's not hard. It's just 
it's definitely a process and it's definitely an art and the hand dyers out there the indie dyers wow like wow they're talented it's hard like it's hard to get what you want if you don't know what you're doing and I kind of just looked at different videos and tutorials and stuff and kind of had to figure stuff out on my own so a lot of the time they came out these are one of my first and these are just like mini skeins because I didn't want to die on big skeins of yarn because yarn even if it's bare it's still pretty expensive or it can be so they got kind of muddy that is not exactly how they looked in the pot but they once they were dried and I twisted them I'm pretty happy with them they're they aren't bad they're just not exactly what I planned on doing what I planned on they're a mess right now because they're held together with different yarn so that's actually not the dye there it's just the other stuff that's dyed but they did come out pretty cool um, j like I said just not what I was looking for and so I had to practice some more um, one of them I practiced and they, it also didn't come out the way I wanted it to but I over dyed it and it did come out pretty cool still not what I was looking for and then I knit it up into a hat and that's what I'm looking for right now I don't have it on me but it did come out pretty cool um, if you're on my Instagram, you'll know it's one that I had to rip out once I was halfway through. <laughs> so yeah, that's always fun to do. So then there was another one I did in DK weight, and it was a full skein, like um, over 400 yards. And it came out very muddied and not what I was looking for. It was supposed to be gray and pink, didn't come out like that at all. So I over dyed it and came up with that. And I am... Um, super happy with this one I, I did put this on Instagram I didn't put any blue in this I think I added purple and black I don't even know if I added purple I think I just added black to over dye it and I got that blue in there and stuff happened and there's some really cool colors in here like that's awesome so I am I love it I love this there's already hair in it my hair crazy um, I love this yarn and I am going to make a little sweater for my four-year-old. Love this yarn. I wish I had enough to make a full sweater for myself, but one for her would be great. That's fun. Those are fun to knit because they knit up fast. And then I practiced more and more and more and tried a different technique, which um, it was like a combination of techniques. And I came up with, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will already know this, I came up with these four skeins of yarn. Um, I think I'm missing one actually. Yes, I am, and it's very important. So I am gonna grab it and just don't look at my background. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Um, okay, so before I got the, the ones that I really liked, I, this was another one that I dyed up. Yes, yes, this is another one I dyed up. And it came out pretty cool. I did, I had, this was two different techniques. Don't, don't worry, don't mind all the, this stuff. It's just, I had extra yarn to tie it up with. I thought this one came out really cool. I'm not very good at twisting these together. <laughs> what a mess. Um, yeah, it's pink, a tonal pink with splotches of like gold and yellow in it. And I love this. I love it. I love it so much. So that came out really cool. Then these are the ones that I was really happy with. So there's, let's see, there's this one. Look at all the colors that happened in there. I used not this many colors and it's so funny to see what happens when you dye it, when you dye the yarn and what happens afterwards. Love that one. Then there's this one. And I think the colors are showing up pretty well because I got a lot of daylight, like natural light around me and it's overcast, so that's pretty good. Um, as long as the background isn't too <laughs> distracting. <sighs> I love this one too. Like, I love this one. I do have names for them, but I don't know if I'm ready to even say anything like that yet. But, ugh, love that. Then there was this one. And honestly, I hope I remember how I did these because I love the way they came out. I, 
I wish I could replicate them. I probably can to an extent, but man, love that. And these are 50 gram skeins of yarn, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. And then this is probably my favorite, and I actually have to say the name of this one. Um, I think I even said it on Instagram, but I love to call it Daddy's Little Monster, and it is um, obviously a nod toward Harley Quinn, and I think of my sister, because that's her favorite. She loves, she loves Harley Quinn, but yeah. So I'm so happy with these. I will carry these around and just like pat them like my little yarn babies. I love that. So there is that. Um, and I have a couple minutes. This is only about, so far, only 15 minutes long. So I want to share a couple other things and hope that this video actually sees the light of day. That would be a nice thing. Um, my husband surprised me with this the other day. Well, kind of a surprise because we share Amazon and he purchased it. So I would have found out. But he got me this. <laughs> this is a kick-ass ball winder, which I have a ball winder and I have a Swift. I have an Amish Swift, Swift and a um, just a small ball winder that is pretty general. Like most people have it and it's a good price. But it was starting to eat the yarn. I was having a hard time with it and he was really getting irritated with seeing me get irritated with it. So a guy will never deal with something that they don't have to deal with. He wanted to make sure I was, um, I was able to wind my, wind my yarn and everything on this is adjustable and it's great. One second. Okay, I had to take something out of the oven <laughs> or turn the oven off actually. But yeah, so he got me this and this thing is pretty badass. It's really heavy. Um, it's all, it's really heavy. I think it's like two pounds. Like this is heavy <laughs> and it's like, this is pretty stationary, this arm right here. And you thread the yarn through both that and this. And then this wraps around the, the skein instead of the skein being the thing that wraps around, if you know what I mean. And I tried it a few times. You gotta kinda get the hang of it. I don't really have the best setup. As you can imagine, I don't have that much room. But it is pretty awesome. I do love it. Um, it's very smooth. The gears are smooth. The gears are in different spots than in the smaller ball winder. And this isn't exactly the one I wanted, but I don't know how much the wooden one that I wanted costs, and this one was pretty pricey. <laughs> so as you can imagine, you know, so I'm, I'm happy with this one. Cause I told him if I don't like it, I'll just return it. And, um, I like it. <laughs> so that was kind of exciting to get. And I think I'm going to be able to record pretty soon anyway. So I have other things that I'm going to share instead of sharing that all today, because I want to make sure I can get this video even uploaded and that's why it's kind of a rushed one and I feel really bad because this is my 20th episode and it's kind of like rushed and all over the place and I keep glancing that way because there's a sliding glass door right there and that's the door that people come to so if I have a delivery coming I don't want them to see me talking to myself or to a camera but um that's all I'm going to share for now <laughs> and thanks for putting up with me for just a few minutes and I just kind of wanted to stay in the podcast game just to say hey to everybody and I hope you are having fun knitting and I hope you're knitting lots of awesome stuff and I have so much I want to share with you guys but um I will do that much uh, pretty soon I don't even know what I'm saying but yeah so I'll talk to you soon and thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and listening to me talk to my phone <laughs> bye <laughs>